Hello, Maria Diaz here, and if you have watched the first of my tutorial videos, you'll know that I've been designing cross stitch patterns for over 20 years, and have spent much of that time working with professional cross stitch design software. In this video, I'll show you how to put together a simple corner design and use it to create an attractive frame. As in the first video, we will use the cut and paste tool with the addition of the mirror and rotation tools. Let's get started. So if we open Cross Stitch Designer, okay, let's go for our 100 by 100 chart again, as I find it easier to work on a small chart. It's easier to find your drawing. And here we've got the palette that I put on in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, what you do is you click on one of the numbers and it will bring you up all the thread options you can choose. And if you click on that, it should bring you up a shade card and you can pick from any colour. I tend to have my shade card and my threads next to me because they're not always true representation on the computer, but it's a very good guide to start with. So if you double click on one of these, what should we go with? Let's go for purple, double click, it brings it up here, 553, and then it's also brought it up here, close, there we go. Right, so let's design some simple little border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some flowers because that's a nice easy place to start. Oops, sorry. So the more you play, the easier it will get. There we go. Now. Do another one, let's do a simple little one, so we'll do some little blue ones, and some more little pink ones, and some different colour blue ones. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top line. Apologies if I'm doing this a bit fast. There we go, there's the cutout tool. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to cut here and I'm going to copy. So if we go up to the top, this symbol here is copy, copy, and then this one is paste. So paste, we can take it and we can put it there. Then we can do the same with this design. Copy, oop, copy, and paste. And now section, do these two, copy, and paste. Now I'm going to use this section tool to move them about. So let's have a few of these over here. So if you just highlight it, Click on it with the left finger and the right. I tend to work backwards. See if we can make a nice little pattern. Move that a little bit. The good thing about the cutout tool is it works however far out you are. There we go. Now I'm going to use some green. I'm going to put in um, a few leaves. So if we go to the cross stitch tool and draw, there we go. Let's draw a few little leaves. Stick to nice simple shapes while you're playing. And the more you play, the more your confidence will grow and the more fun you can have. Now, what should we put in? Let's put in a little bit. Few dots. 
helps continue your pattern. Okay, now if I pull out, you'll see I have designed that in a sort of corner. So if I go to here and draw that round and take it up, up a bit, there we go. Pull out, definitely made a corner. Now I'm going to go in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to section this off and then if we go up to tools, copy, paste, section that bit off, functions, under functions you have your stitches so you can add text and everything which we will do later but down here you can flip and you can mirror so if we mirror horizontally okay I don't know what I've done let's undo that let's highlight this section go to functions go to mirror horizontally and it will flip that over there for you now if we then highlight this whole section functions mirror vertically it does it on the top so if we take this functions uh -huh, right okay so if we take that to the bottom and then we go functions flip, there we go, we flip that upside down, we highlight it again, functions mirror and it mirrors to the top and there you go, that's a very straightforward simple way to make a shape without having to rechart every section and you know that each bit will be an exact copy of, of the first corner that you did. So, I hope that works. I hope you like it. If we go up here to chart and Aida and there you could see what that would look like stitched. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and um, have fun. See you next time.